Hey, hey guys, and welcome to day four of the ideal challenge. Now, I'm gonna try and do this, show you guys my shirt. I love my shirt. It says, live a great story. Oh, man, I'll tell you, what. It's, it's, a, it's a small company and guys, support. Support, support, support these small companies. They have great shirts, they got hats, they've got stickers, they've got sweatshirts, they've got everything. It's, I love, but more than I love, you know, supporting small companies is that saying, live a great story. Now, my caveat to this is this, you're gonna have to tell a great story if you want to live a great story. You are the opera, we've got this by now, you're the opera power here. We get to talk face to face this time around. Though I am gonna show you guys something that's special. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Live a great story. So what is your great story? So by now you should have an idea of what is your ideal, okay? Now guys, there's, I am asking you to go limitless big, limitless big. That means rewrite your childhood, rewrite your children's childhood, rewrite who you're, you got married to, rewrite the fuck out of everything if you want to, and then go even bigger and rewrite the good things. So let's say you just got a bonus at work. Uh, rewrite it. I mean, it's already good. It's already a great thing, but revise it, rewrite it, and add a zero to it. And guys, it is there. I have endless stories, endless stories of how these revisions, rewritings have far, far reaching effects. And they always have extremely positive, far reaching effects. You are not limited to anything, anything. So let's say, say you're into manifestation, law of attraction and manifestation. And you're kind of like, well, how do, how do I do it? Does it require this? Does it require that? Guys, <laughs> you are the operant power. <laughs> how many times I got to say this? You're the operant power. So there is no, you have to do it this way. You have to do it that way other than what you say. So if you're believing that you can't manifest what you want, if you're angry or if you're out of your joy, or there's such a fucking thing as a vortex that you could possibly get out of, then that's the story you're writing. You, you never stop being God. You never stop being the operant power here. So rewrite the fuck out of that thing. You, you. I manifest like a motherfucker when I'm angry. Oh my God. I man, in fact, I manifest better when I'm out of my default state. I, I manifest much better. I'm, or how about this? I manifest fantastically no matter what state I'm in. I always manifest like, like nobody's business. They're the only rules. The only thing that can cage this God is what this God accepts, allows, believes. And you get to play there. This isn't about you. I'm going to go ahead and actually, I really like this picture, but we'll go back to this. <sighs> I, I'm trying to think of a different way I can say it. <laughs> think of a different way that I, I keep saying the same thing over and over. And I always have. I was listening to a friend of mine this morning. She had just put up a video on YouTube and it's so funny. I, I caught her throwing in a limitation and I'm like, no, but then I realized, and I remembered, I get to revise that. I get to revise that. She didn't say that. She, she said the exact opposite. 
I get to revise it because guys, I'm the one, I want to see if I can make this a little darker. You guys can see the pretty trees, but I guess not. We're going to just stick with really bright blinding lights behind me. You get to revise every and anything because you are the creator of it. Everything. You are the creator. I said in a video the other day, God is om omnipresent. Omnipresent means God is within everything. Okay. And you are God. So everything you are in the good, the bad, the ugly, the warty, the fantastic, the orgasmic, all of it. You are all of it. So how can any of it be bad? You don't stop being a God just because you went down into depression or you, you explored who you are in, in suicide. You don't stop being God. You don't ever stop being God. In fact, I might do another guided meditation where I really have you guys explore around this you. So yesterday's video, day three, was the, um, uh, da, 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 guided meditation on expansion and holy shit guys, that, it wasn't long. I highly recommend, I highly recommend playing there. Now, one of the things you guys are going to know about me and those of you that are just learning about me, this is new to you, but those of you guys that know me know that I have never played in rules ever ever i am the worst person to try and bring rules to like if you want to manifest you got to do this and this and this if you want to do that I, I, the first thing i do is like uh-uh i don't have to do that i manifest just fine and i have wonderful stories in fact i think my uh instagram channel is going to start being a lot of my manifestation stories because i've got tons of them and they're so fun to tell and they're so fun to listen to regardless, I digress. If you want to live a great story, you got to tell a great story. Now you don't have to tell it out loud. You don't, there, there's nothing, there's nobody saying you have to tell it out loud. You can just in here. I do that all the time. I'll hear something and I'm like, mm, nope. I'll catch myself remembering something a certain way. And then I'll be like, Nope, that's not what I want to remember. I don't want to remember having that experience or living that kind of a childhood or anything. You get to have the parents you want. You get to have the boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, siblings you want. You get to have the first job you want. You, there is nothing, 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 nothing written in stone. There's nothing written in stone. You get to write it and you get to write it constantly. And I highly, highly advise that. I highly suggest in every moment. And I mean all day. This isn't the, okay, do one meditation in the morning and then write in your journal one segment intention and that's it for the day. Oh, okay. But if you're really enjoying what you're doing and you're seeing the fantastic results that you will see, I promise, then why would you do it just once a day? No, fuck no. Do it all day long because it's so much fun. It's so much fun to have instant manifestations. If anybody brings any kind of rule your way, ask yourself, does that stand up to my imagination? Guys, your imagination is your creation center. That is your creative center. You've used it your whole life. You may not, you may have been doing it on default and not even realizing it. But now, now comes the invitation to step it up a notch. Uh, let's step it up more than a notch. How's that? Take it up and let it, and, and show off to yourself. Let yourself show off to you. And if at any time, any time something comes up that doesn't feel expansive, like yesterday's meditation, I took you on a fun tour through massive expansion. And I, and I also took you into contraction. So you get to feel, so you get to be aware and know when your thoughts are going that direction. You get to immediately 
revise and have fun. You get to revise that manifestation has always been easy. It's always been a simple thing for you. It's never been hard. In fact, you knew about manifestation way before anybody introduced it to you. And you called it creation or you called it normal. You called it breathing. You called it living. Your manifestation is as easy as smiling. You get to create the rules. Don't let any channel. <laughs> See, the coolest thing about this, guys, is if you really step into this, the, the people you call gurus, the people you listen to are going to start echoing what you are revising. So if you revise that manifestation doesn't require any rules, that it is super simple and all you got to do is just enjoy life, the next thing you know, you're bringing to you a, a sentence or a meme or a, a video or something that's echoing that. And you're like, holy shit, I was just thinking that this morning. Uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> that's how it works. You told a great story and it poof, it happened. Now, I, I work with this with my clients. This is what I do with my clients. And guys, I have the most fantastic stories with my clients, but with myself as well. It, 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 it's just, it, oh, it's so much fun. And there's no, these, these stories of, oh, you have to heal this part of your life. You need to do this. You do. No, you don't. You could leapfrog over all that bullshit and say, that never happened. I've always had the easiest life. I've always had the happiest life. I've always been so wonderfully supported and loved by my family and my friends. I have the most fantastic family. I, I come from a long line of millionaires who taught me how to be powerfully, uh, you know, you just go on and on. And guys, there's nothing you have to do. You don't have to meditate on it. You don't have to write it down. You can write it down. It feels good. Writing it down is a fun. Let's say you just got in the mail um, something from the IRS that says you owe wow, $3,000. Okay. On the back of that letter, I want you to rewrite that you have a refund of add a zero to that mo mother, you know? $30,000 coming your way. You have a refund. Congratulations. And that's it. Now, if you're sitting here going, oh, that's not going to work. Okay. Revise that. You, you feel fantastic in that. You actually just saw proof of this, that it always works. You, you surround yourself with people all the time that it always works. You'll be standing in line at Starbucks and you listen and you can hear people talking all the time, uplifting conversations powerful manifestation, easy, easy, easy manifestations. Life is simple, easy, and fun. There is no part of your life that isn't simple, easy, and fun. You don't sit here and say, well, my life over here is simple, easy, and fun, but that's hard. I mean, you can do that if you want, but why? Okay, why? That, that's, a, that's not who you are. You can make it as easy and as hard as you want you don't need to look back in your life and say, oh, wow, I've been making it hard up till now. Wow, why have I done this till now? Uh, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Have fun. Have a blast. Just make it such a kick. Life is such a kick in every moment. I jump out of bed because I can't wait to see what new crazy ass manifestations coming my way. And guys, The new you that forms, okay, first thing first, nothing bad has ever, ever happened from this, ever. It's, it, it's, it's the most delightful, the most fun, the most exciting, the most powerful, the most beautiful, the most, most fucking extraordinary that evolves from this, from you stepping into your ideal. So start a great story so that you get to live a great story. All right, guys, absolutely adore you. See you on day five. Have fun. 
you have any questions, again, I love your questions. I've been getting some great, great questions. The thing is, is what you're going to hear a lot of times, if you start stepping into any kind of a tale of woe, is you're going to hear me say, well, what I heard you say is the exact opposite of that. I'm going to tell the great story for you. If you're having a hard time, I'm great at telling great stories, great life stories. I am really fucking good at it. And in fact, a lot of times when people reach out to me um, on Facebook or Instagram messages or whatever, they're going to hear an amazing story about themselves from me, an amazing story. And I love doing it. It's so much fun because I know, number one, it has far reaching effects. It, 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 it manifests amazingly, but it's also, it, it, it bounces back to me, right? When I get to see people living fantastic, fucking awesome, amazing stories, I have more amazing, fantastic, fun, awesome stories to tell. All right. Take care, guys. See you next time. Turn it off.